Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. Now, as we start the month, it is going to be, if you remember late last month, we had that new moon in your sign. Well, that energy is starting to wane significantly as we start this month. But it is as we get to the 9th of February when we will have a full moon in your opposite sign that it becomes about you and another person. It is going to be an alliance that comes into focus at this time. Mars is speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon. That's a wonderfully supportive energy and it does suggest a moment of truth that ends up empowering you and this other person. Now, some of you may experience this in the context of a business partnership or professional alliance. And if that's the case, there may be an important conversation or point of clarity that needs to happen and will happen around this full moon. It's also possible that someone that you are professionally aligned with facilitates an opportunity for you, perhaps a significant opportunity for you, and that can be part of what brings this enlivening and happy energy into your life. Now, regardless, it is that you are better off for the people that you know, especially where it is that you have forged one-on-one -on -one connections. Well, that is where other people can come through for you in really big ways now. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. It also has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. New moons bring with them new opportunities, but a week before the new moon, Mercury is going to go retrograde in the same part of the sky. Now, this new moon is speaking in harmony with Uranus, your ruling planet, also speaking in harmony with Mars as well. So that's the astrology to it. And what this comes down to is I do see more financial opportunities for you. For some, this is gonna be new ideas, new potentials, new possibilities that really hold a lot of potential. But for others, it's going to be more practical opportunity. If it is that, this is an opportunity that was there before, but then left and now is coming back around in some way, that is when it becomes that much more significant. It is when you feel as if perhaps there was an opportunity to either make more money or in some way use your money wisely and then it was kind of gone. If it is that whatever opportunity comes at this time, because there will be opportunity to work or create more prosperity for yourself, if it is connected to some event or something that happened before, but you had to let that go and it comes back around, that is when the potential is there for it to really be something that can take off, not only now, but for a while to come. But where it is that it's something really brand spanking new, out of nowhere, that is where you want to be a little bit careful because of that Mercury retrograde. There may be some key details that you are not seeing or you're overlooking. And so as much as it is that you are able to or willing to actually consider what you've tried before, where it is that perhaps you're ready to try again to move yourself towards greater abundance based on something you already did, but now maybe you can rework in some way and present it again. Well, it is that kind of idea that actually has the greatest potential now to move you towards greater abundance. With the connection that this part of the sky has to self-esteem and self-worth, this could be a time when you get a real boost of some kind, affirming a healthy sense of self-esteem and healthy sense of self-value. Now, whether it is through your own actions, you do something, you wanted to do something, you succeed, you excel, or whether it is a more deeply personal connection to your right to feel good about yourself as you are today, it looks to be a realization that frees you in some way, frees your energy to truly embrace all you are and be all you are today. And that is actually really important to Aquarians to have that freedom to be themselves.
Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm going back to that full moon because I do think that most Aquarians out there are going to experience that partnership energy in the context of love. And love is going to be that much more important as well. Full moons bring things to culmination and a full moon in your opposite sign helps you to get honest about uh, either someone you're interested in or someone you're already partnered with. With that beautiful Mars energy, well, there's a lot of passion in the mix as well. If you are open to meeting someone new, important lunar activity in your opposite sign tends to bring someone there because a part of your learning now is going to happen as you meet other people and as you see where you are in love and why as reflected in the eyes of another. As I like to say, to see yourself more clearly as reflected in the eyes of another. And what that means is, it's not that you take someone else's opinion as your own. What it means is you realize something about yourself based on how you interact with someone, based on how it is you may perceive they are perceiving you. And it is in that moment when you realize that this is ultimately a lesson for you that power is found. Well, it is going to be this very full moon that will bring with it some interaction with another person. And as I said, it looks like there's a lot of enlivening and exciting energy at this time. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I do think that this is a moment of honesty, whether or not this person is partner material. <laughs> is this a person that you can actually be in a partnership with? Now, if it is the case that you realize you can, this is going to represent a time that feels happy and invigorating. If it is that you come to understand that this may not be the right person for you, there's an easy transition taking place at this time as you open yourself to other possibilities and other options available to you where it comes to love. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this is beautiful energy as well. It's fun energy. It invites you to be open to possibility, but also open to interacting with the larger world, with your partner, with others, with your partner. And this is energy that has you feeling as if you're moving towards some larger vision together, uh, some higher ideal. And it may very well feel at this time that there's every reason to celebrate some reason for genuine excitement, whether it is because of what is happening within your relationship or just something that the two of you are enjoying together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. I'm gonna say that full moon in your opposite sign, as much as the new moon is really nice for increased prosperity, increased abundance, increased self-value and self-love, and all of that is really great. I love the sense of luck and surprise that's happening for you late in the month where it comes to you moving towards greater abundance. I really like that full moon as well because I feel like it's gonna help you to get honest about who your people are, who's worth aligning with, and also to understand that your life is richer as a result of those connections that you have. It is those very connections that can bring joy, that can bring fun, and that can bring really big opportunities into your life now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.